friends and straight into the voiceover part of the video and as you can see I'm the video is at double time and that's a quart of the uh, uh, Glidden Premium in white satin and as you can see now I'm just tilting it around getting it nice and even over this two by three feet canvas so hopefully in this video we're going to teach you some tips and tricks on how to get good results when using or going big like this so as it says there this is uh, six ounces of the Quilla Violet from Triart uh, I really love these Triart paints. They're so highly pigmented. They're amazing. And they're available from Fluid Art Co. Their web address is fluid-art.co. I highly recommend them. They're a great company and they sell some amazing products, especially their pigments, of course. But there we go, guys. Just kind of covering that last little spot with the Quilla Violet. Now going in with the amazing TLP Deja Vu. Now this is one of the... Uh, this is one of the disco pigs, so it's UV reactive, so it will fluoresce under UV light. So the trick to going really nice and large here, guys, and here we go, here's the last six ounces of Constellation we're putting down. So with those uh, three, uh, six ounces, so there's 18 ounces, and then with the uh, quart of uh, pillow, which is 32, I believe, uh, you know, we're gonna be ending up using just under about half a gallon of paint or more, and this is the trick to going big is using enough paint so when we spin the piece it covers the whole canvas here and gives us some nice results so we've got to remember to be using enough paint especially when we're using the hide and reveal technique so that was some of the um, waterfall uh, TLP waterfall this one is now a billabong I believe uh, and I mixed up about uh, I believe it was about just over an ounce it, uh, of these colors that I'm just kind of spattering down here at the end. But while we wait for me to do that, I'd love to tell you about uh, the Shelley Art Online Fluid course. Uh, if you're interested in uh, learning more, I highly recommend the Shelley Art course at shelleyart.com.au. I even have a 15% discount code, which I shall put on the screen, which will make the, for the course even more affordable. So here's the discount code. So here we go with the Mars Black. Now it's seven ounces of Mars Black here. Now uh, that's because uh, uh, I used a ratio of two to one. So uh, one part uh, of the Joe Sonia gloss varnish and then two parts of the Bear 8300. And I put one ounce of the Mars Triart, uh, Mars Black from Triart. And it's so highly pigmented, it works so beautifully. And then we go for the second swipe. <laughs> as you can see, didn't get that one quite as good as the first, but this is the uh, Shelley Art recipe of uh, Australian Floetrol. And I'm using Rust-Oleum Goldmine uh, for my cell activator. So then we go for the second lower swipe of the B. And looking pretty good. So if you like what you see, my friends, please give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. The thumbs up is really important too. The more fun thumbs up I get for my videos, the more likely YouTube is to, to suggest them to people that haven't seen them. So there we go. Major apologies for the reflection of the ceiling light, guys, but there's nothing I can do about it. But watch this sucker grow beautifully. Look at that. We've just just use the perfect amount of paint here guys to cover this two foot by three foot canvas so all in all it's six square feet of canvas but as you can see the design grew beautifully we used the perfect amount of paint the initial B there uh, just filling the canvas really nicely proportionately and as you can see the Mars black just so highly pigmented there for the hide layer it's just covering everything and giving us such a beautiful depth to the piece it's pretty marvelous and it doesn't let me catch it here and slow it down. But there you go. There's the initial B swipe. So I couldn't be happier with how this came out. And apologies for not showing you uh, the finished piece at the beginning, but I have already delivered it to the person that commissioned it. So in for a nice look close up of those cells. 
absolutely fantastic there. While we're looking at that, I'd love to tell you about our Facebook group, The Acrylic Crazy Train. It is an online group for beginners of fluid art to get some help and encouragement from those a little more experienced. We have lots and lots of amazing artists from all over the world just waiting to help you. So please join us on Facebook, The Acrylic Crazy Train. But there we go, guys, just having a nice look at there. We've got a little shine from the piggies. We're just tilting the piece just a little bit. But there we go. Again, major apologies for the light ceiling. Yes, thumbs up. Very happy with this. And uh, my friend Brian, who commissioned the piece, was over the moon with it. And as you can see from the beginning pictures, I put it in a lovely ornate Baroque frame. And it looked really, really, really great. I was very happy to give this to him. But there you go, my friends, the last little look at it. Nice short video on tips and tricks on how to go large. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please click on the lower right logo. Or if you want to watch the next video, the lower left. See you next time.